This is our six-point explosion drill. Again, I think it's early in the progression. Uh, I do it during camp. It's, you know, it's designed to to get those guys coming out of their hips. And uh, you know, I think this is something you can improve on. We go from a six-point, eyes on the target. We want to shoot those hands low to high, get a wrap on the bag, which we're not doing here. And uh, you know, we reset and we come right back for another one. Get their eyes up, get them looking at the target, get them rolling the hips, bringing the hands, and uh, coming out of that, uh, you know, coming out of that knee bend, coming out of them hips. That's what we're looking for. Um, I want to roll through the hips. You know, the guys got to give them a little resistance, but not a whole lot at first. Uh, just looking for the, you know, for them to kind of demonstrate the freedom to let, kind of let them hips, hips go. And then you're looking for a violent wrap on the bag or physical wrap on the bag. Here's pretty good, uh, you know, kind of what you want to see when somebody's cutting loose on a blocker or a ball carrier, launching themselves but rolling them hips and pretty good look there. I'd like to see them squeeze the bag. They shouldn't lose the bag. You ought to be squeezing and wrapping. And this is our six-point explosion drill, which everybody's pretty familiar with, but. I really believe in it just as much as we work about and talk about our football position and uh, coming out of that lower body when we're shedding and tackling and changing direction. I think it's an important component of, uh, of what we do. And uh, you know, you'll see, you can see there some guys really struggle with it. Um, you know, if some guys can, can do these things naturally, some guys can, can uh, improve on them, and some guys never will. But, uh, you know, there the guy on the right's doing a pretty nice job, and the guy on the left is uh, struggling, getting to drill a little bit. He's, you know, he's not, he, he's reaching and grabbing the bag instead of shooting his hands, and uh, he's not coming out of those hips and those quads. He's, he's using his feet, and that's not what we want. Pretty good look at the top. You know, you can see the hip roll. Uh, he's got the arms around the bag. Uh, that's a pretty good look at what I want out of the drill. Continuing with our explosion work, all this is right here is taking our six point to a two point. And, um, you know, this can be a tackling drill where you're looking for a wrap. It can be a shed drill where you're escaping, you know, off the right side or the left side. But what I'm looking for is the hip roll, the great football base that with the knees bent, the ankles bent, coming out of the lower body. Um, there we go. There's, you can see the hip roll. He's low to high, he's shooting the hands low to high, but uh, you can see he's popping them hips. There's obviously more resistance here with the, with the popsicle than, uh, than the bags. That's a pretty good look, but you know, just getting them fairly close where they can wrap and run and roll the hips. Eyes on their target right down the middle. Again, just taking the next step with our six point, from our six-point explosion and getting, uh, getting them to do it from uh, a stand-up. You know, try and get their feet hot and uh, get in wrap them and wrapping and running right here, rolling out of the hips. It's a pretty good drill, uh, you know, just to ID who has pop and who doesn't and to, uh, you know, get them better at doing that. Hey, this is our, uh, continuing our, on our explosion work. Uh, the only difference now, you know, attacking this one-man sled is we give him a running start. So I ask him to gather and sink and, uh, and then attack. So uh, we got to size it up a little bit better rather than starting from uh, a near fit or stationary position. We're going to hit it on the run. And uh, as you can see here, you know, looking for the same thing, rolling the hips, wrapping low to high squeezing the bag, running the feet, you know, eyes right down the center of your target, you know, wrap and run. And, um, you know, just another way to, um, you, know, I, you know, look at who's being explosive, who can bend and play low and come out of them hips and use that power clean. Uh, I think it, you know, it's a way for us to practice and, and try and get what we want out of a wrap and how physical we want that to be. Um, you know, it's pretty good. You can make it as fast tempo as you want it to be. Uh, but again, it's a progression from the six point 
you know, to the stationary attack, to the, uh, you know, to the running attack. So all these explosion drills, you know, help you ID who's going to be, uh, who's going to throw their body around a little bit and come out of their hips and, and uh, be, be pretty physical on uh, blockers and ball carriers. Again, when I do these drills, you know, it, you can simulate the wrap or you can sh simulate a shed because to me it's the same. Everything with the lower body and the body position, it's all the same, whether you're shedding a block um, or making a tackle.